welcome to another episode of the Wong Reviewer. In today's episode, I am very excited to be installing DaVinci Resolve Studio 16. I've been using DaVinci Resolve, the free version, for the last three months. I really enjoy it, uh, and I wanted to explore what other capabilities it has um, to further my YouTube editing. I really want to fully utilize the GPU I have and the system I have. So from what I read in my understanding is the paid version will fully utilize all those resources for, for rendering, decoding, and encoding. Um, I also really enjoy using DaVinci Resolve um, and the, some of the different features. I realized as I was going through the free version, some of the features is unavailable because it's in the paid version. Some of the, the special transitions and special effects I want to start using, again, is not available in the free, but available in the paid version. And another thing about DaVinci Resolve is you just pay one time and my understanding is you're free for upgrades for life. Unlike Premiere Pro, we have to pay continually each month for a subscription based. Even uh, Cyberlink um, Studio, which I was using before. So that's the reason why I want to upgrade and let's get to it. So I wanted to show you the DaVinci Resolve Studio packaging um, in this. One of the interesting things about DaVinci Resolve is it's the only company I know that doesn't allow you to buy a key online and enter it right away. It, they send you the key through snail mail. Uh, in Canada, there's only two available authorized res, uh, resellers and that was Henry's Camera and then a uh, company called Vistec. And I actually had to purchase this online through them and then I even tried to see if they would uh, open it up, scan it and email me the code. And they said it was against black magic policy to actually do that. Yes, I realize this, this is a unnecessarily big knife to be using to open up a package. Okay, so now I've unwrapped it. And if I open it up, you can see, welcome to DaVinci Resolve. Oh, sorry about the shine there. Welcome to DaVinci Resolve. There's the card with the code on it right here. And then one thing I noticed is an SD card with the software on there. The instructions on an SD card advises you to go and download the latest version online. I'll have the download link in the description below. I'm just gonna scroll down to the bottom for the download link. So I'm gonna download DaVinci Resolve Studio 16 for Windows. And then I'm gonna enter all my information in. I entered off all my information and now I'm just going to download the actual zip file, save it to my download folder, hit save, and then wait for it to finish downloading. As I was waiting for it to download, I was curious to see what was on the SD card that was provided. So here are the files, there's Linux, if I look at Windows, it's Windows, the version is 16 versus 16.1.2 and then there's a DaVinci Resolve manual. As I was waiting for the install file to finish downloading, I decided to look up to see if I had to uninstall the free version of Resolve before installing the Studio 16 version. I remember some time ago reading in a Reddit Black Magic forum, you have to uninstall the free version first. So I wanted to double check and I started looking this up on Google. Google brought me to this Black Magic forum where someone else had the exact same question I did. And there was conflicting messages as I was going through the response. A Blackmagic mod indicator you didn't have to uninstall the free version. However, in the official Blackmagic FAQ, it tells you you should install, uninstall the free version. As you can see from this article here. In the FAQ it says, download the latest version of, of DaVinci Resolve Studio from our website and follow the instructions in the manual to uninstall the free version of Resolve and install the Resolve Studio software. I decided to follow the official Blackmagic FAQ and uninstall the DaVinci Resolve free version from the desktop. There's a few components of DaVinci Resolve that's on your, that was installed. So I decided just to uninstall the main DaVinci Resolve application, which was 2.02 gigs and uninstall that. There's also DaVinci Resolve keyboards and Division Resolve panels and Fairlight, accelerator utility. So I decided just to leave those components in there and just uninstall the DaVinci Resolve application itself. Just gonna speed up the timeline here and then restart my computer after it's done uninstalling. 
I'm going to install DaVinci Resolve Studio now. I'm going to speed the timeline as the actual installation is pretty standard. Now it's telling me what components to install. And as you can see, um, since I didn't remove the other components, it recognizes that. So I'm just really installing DaVinci Resolve Studio 16. I'm just gonna speed up the timeline here so you don't have to sit through it. So as a bunch of disclaimer, I just approved it. Now I'm just copying files over to the system. And now it's done, I'm gonna click finish. So I restarted my computer after it landed installed and now I'm going to open up DaVinci Resolve. So when you, it's gonna prompt you to enter the activation key that was sent to you through snail mail. So I'm gonna do that right now. I'm just gonna speed up the timeline here, but the one thing I did notice is it takes actually a lot longer to load DaVinci Resolve Studio 16. I was anxious to see if Resolve Studio was going to speed up my render. I did a 4K four minute video of a headphone stand. Free version rendered in 351 and studio version did it in 256, which is almost a minute faster. Here's another video that I've done. Um, you can see it was 6 minutes and 50 before and 5 minutes and 44 with the Studio 16 version. So again, it was about a minute faster. So that's the tutorial for installing DaVinci Resolve Studio 16. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe to the channel for future content. Thanks again for watching and until next time.